Hey everyone, welcome to Moonbill Garage. Today, we're building this. Rustic wood American flag. Keep watching. So you've decided to make one of these flags for your garage, your workshop, your man cave, whatever. There are a few specific dimensions and proportions you need to pay attention to if you want your flag to be accurate. I'll link below to the website that I use that lays out each specific dimension based on the size flag that you want to make. Now, the size of flag that I'm making is determined by the stencil that I got for the union. The union being the area with, with all the stars. Since the stencil that I got measures 10 and a half by 14 and 13 16 inches, that means my flag needs to be 19 and a half by 37 inches, which works out perfect because that size means that each stripe is exactly an inch and a half wide, which is the size of dimensional lumber that you buy. A one by two is actually three quarters of an inch by one and a half inches wide. So that means when you go to the store and you buy your lumber, when you buy your one by twos, they're gonna be an inch and a half wide, which is the exact size that you need for your stripes if you're making a 37 inch long flag. So let's go over here and we'll get started on this build. Here you can see I set up a, a quick fence on my miter saw that has a stop set at 37 inches. That way I don't have to measure each individual board. I can just set the board on the saw up against the stop and cut it to 37 inches. So once you get your boards cut to size, time to lay out the stencil for your union. Here I've got the stencil lined up right where I want it on the wood. I made sure that I aligned the left edge of the boards perfectly and then clamped the boards together. Here I, and then just uh, make sure the stencil is aligned. And then I'm going to mark the top and the bottom of the stencil with, uh, with a razor blade just to get a nice crisp narrow line there at the top of the top of the stencil. And then here at the bottom, I'm going to mark the bottom edge of the stencil. And then rather than try to use the, the stencil as a straight edge, go ahead and just remove the stencil and use an actual straight edge to describe that, connect those two points and scribe that line. Try to scribe it nice and deep since it's going to be a physical barrier for the for the stain you want that line to cut in through the grain deep enough that the stain won't bleed over so once you get your union laid out it's time to have some fun and burn some wood come on who doesn't like playing with fire
right, so here's what we have up to this point. So apparently me staying in the Union area didn't record. So, yeah, here it is done. And uh, as you can see, I used razor blades to drive into the boards to create a physical barrier so the blue wouldn't bleed across into the red, and more importantly, wouldn't bleed into the area not being stained for the white stripes. I also used some some tape to kind of also help help with that. We'll see how it works. All right, while well, the Union boards dry, we'll go ahead and uh, continue on with uh, some of the red. So this stain is pretty good, pretty amazing how quickly it dries. So now that the blue for the Union is dry, I can go ahead and continue on with the red staining for the red portion. So once all the staining is done, here we are up to this point. Still got to finish connecting all the pieces together and do the stars in the union. Let's keep going. To assemble the pieces, I'm using the Craig pocket hole jig. Get the idea. Welcome to the second day of working on this project. Uh, unfortunately, since I was working on this outside, I ran out of daylight while carving out the stars in the Union. Also, apparently my phone decided not to record that portion, so I didn't have any of that footage to show just how I carved out the, the stars. Um, but what I used was I was using my Dremel, and I was using this uh, carving engraving kit from Dremel. I was using the 105-bit it's the smallest bit in there for, for carving out the outline of all the stars. Now I'm probably gonna use the 106 or 107 bit, probably the 106, 107 might be a little too big. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use the 106 bit to finish carving out the stars. Let's get to it. I'm gonna be using my Dremel uh, with my 106 bit in it to finish carving out these stars. Now what I did also is I have this adjustable depth gauge on my Dremel and I actually have the bit set so it just barely extends beyond the bottom of the depth gauge, maybe like a sixteenth of an inch, if that maybe even a thirty second, just to take off the top layer and of the wood and get the stars carved out. Let's see how this works. 
with the Dremel and a semi-steady hand. In other words, not too much coffee or pre-workout before doing this. Trust me. And you can get the, uh, the stars carved out for the Union. And you see I followed it up with uh, taking the blowtorch to it. Kind of get them looking the same as the uh, as the white stripes. Uh, if I was going to do it again, I'd probably use a smaller, like a butane torch, something like that, just for a little more control because you can see that some of the blue area got a little extra dark. But it's all right. I think all that gives it that rustic hand done look so let's uh take it outside and we'll spray it down with some clear all right so i got this thing all uh i'll wipe down with a tack cloth to get all the sawdust and just crap off this thing and i'm going to be using some of this uh minwax clear satin lacquer uh, i probably just do a couple of light coats on this it's just gonna be a wall hanging it's not like i'm gonna be using this as a tabletop or anything like that so Shouldn't take too much. So go ahead and get this thing covered. You go a few hours of work and you got yourself a rustic wood american flag now i know there are a lot of different versions out there a lot of different ways to put these together uh, but i really like the way this turned out so yeah i hope you all enjoyed this keep watching hit that subscribe button hit the bell so you get notified when new videos get uploaded and uh we'll see you later <laughs>